Now very often as a game progresses there are going to be certain clips or certain events that happen that you might want to add to a highlight reel. You want to make sure that you put comments on these events or these angles of an event so you can very quickly search them and find them and put them into the playlist or you can even add events or angles of an event to the playlist during the game as the game progresses kind of build that highlight reel on the fly as you're working your way through. Let's go ahead and take a look at working with the playlist and adding our clips and events to it. So we're going to start out in the clip list and this is where all of our events live and again I'm going to go ahead all the way back up to the top of my list here and I've got some comments on some of these plays. Now you've got a couple of options seeing as how each one of these events has four camera angles you might want to see an event from every angle possible. Well if you wanted to do that you would go over and actually select the event number itself and if you hit this button on your control surface add to playlist it's going to add every angle of that event because you had the event number selected. Now I'm going to go down to the playlist and remove these for right now and let's go back up to our clip list and just add single camera angles. So we're going to go over to our camera angle that we wanted and we're going to add that to the playlist and then we're going to go down to this one we'll add that one we'll move down one more We've got a nice long run there and then I've got a sack down here that we made a comment on. So let's go ahead and grab that one and we're going to add that to the playlist as well. Now we also added some content at the beginning of the session that we said we could use for a bumper or commercial and the playlist is a great way to use that content. Now we have a New Tech logo. Let's say we wanted the highlight reel to be sponsored by New Tech. We can just add the animated New Tech logo to the end of the playlist. Now let's go ahead and play the playlist and see what we have. We have our first play happening. Going to have a nice run back. Now at any point in time, you can grab the T-bar, you can dynamically slow the action down, speed it back up again. There's our first play, dissolve into the second play. We'll watch this one at full speed. Now we dissolve into the third play. This is a nice long run, so I'm going to slow it down right here at the beginning when he breaks a couple tackles. And then we'll speed him back up again. And then right before he gets the big tackle at the end, we'll slow that down so we can see that happen and then speed back up. And then we dissolve into our last clip. When this clip is done playing, it dissolves right into the New Tech logo and plays that back just like a standard video clip. Now, you may also want to be able to add music to these highlight reels. Very often, it's nice to be able to have that championship feel behind the playback of the video. And again, when we were loading up content and importing our content in the beginning of the session, not only did we bring in those video clips, but we also brought in some audio. And now we can use that audio inside of the playlist. Right here in the playlist, you have an area for music, and you can click that on, and then you can come to the Browse area from this pop down and it will allow you to choose from all of the music that you loaded up. So we'll go ahead and load up the music that we want and then click on the gear just to the right of that pop up menu and you have the options for your music. You have music level and you have the ability to adjust the start time if you want the music to start after the video starts so you can offset the start of the music if you should so desire. Once you have that set up, now let's go ahead and watch that playlist one more time. Again, I hit the stop button three times to reset it, and we're ready to play. Now you do have the same banks and pages available inside of the playlist to be able to organize these playlists as you create them. And you do have the ability to name each one of the pages inside of each one of the banks. Once you've created a playlist, you can simply click in this field right here. We'll type in game highlights. And now we've got a name for that specific highlight reel that we're going to want to play back. Now you may also want to be able to export these playlists or these highlight reels that you create for use outside of the three play after the live production. And you can do this by rendering any of the playlists back into the clip list. You do that simply by hitting the export playlist button right here. 
and this is going to go ahead and it's going to export the entire playlist as one video clip back into the clip list. Once the export is complete, we can see that we now have a new clip inside of the clip list called Game Highlights. Now another great way to think about using this is, let's say we did last week's game and we had three or four highlight reels. Well, we can go ahead and render those out to the clip list and after the live production we can export them as single video clips. Those clips could then be brought in as content to your next three play session so you actually have some highlight reels from last week's game to play back during this week's game.